Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Life I story of Masar Siad Hadi Waidagdo Khan Masar Siad Hadi Waidagdo, or better known as Pakarsi, was a direct student of Kihajar Harjo Odomo and served on the Level 3 Coaching Council in the Faithful Heart Turate Brotherhood from 1951 to 1961. As a warrior, Pakarsid has mature mastery in self-defense. During his leadership, further excavation and research was carried out on the techniques and accuracy of pencaxillid movements. Several of Shishteridi's movements were observed and reanalyzed, especially the attack movements which were considered less powerful, so that they could be improved. Through research and studies carried out by Mr. Ursid, Several new technical movements were born which were then used to improve the movements at Shishtarate. Development of PSHT Basic Gymnastics After Ursiad Hadi Widago tested the material and studied the accuracy of the moves while serving as head of the center, several important discoveries were made. Several moves, such as move 1 to move 4, have been corrected. Apart from that, to raise the enthusiasm for learning among Shishtarait members, Mr. Ursid created a series of gymnastic movements from Gymnastics 1 to Gymnastics 90. Creation of the SH Tarate Warrior Code during the leadership of Ursiad Hadi Widago. Another important decision was also taken, namely the creation of the SH Tarate Warrior Code which he himself made. One of the reasons behind creating the Code of Warriors was because the number of Shishtarait members at that time was increasing, so there were differences in recognition between members because they trained in different places and had different legitimacy. With the SH Tarait Warrior Code, a member can accurately recognize whether someone they just met is a member of Shishtarait or not. For example, a member can secretly give the SH Tarate Warrior Code to someone they just met. If the code is answered correctly, it means the person you just met is a member of Shish Tarate. Of course, because they were apprentice brothers, the two of them embraced each other with a sense of unity, as if there were no obstacles between them. Jambin if the color red symbolizes courage then the color jambin or pink also means courage but full of calculation. So in facing and resolving a problem, jambin level students are expected to have courage that has calculation, not just being brave because courage without calculation will result in failure in the solution. Green the green color symbolizes hope. So green level students can be said to already have hopes of being approved as PSHT members considering that the lessons they have received have reached the 20th level. Based on certain considerations from the branch management, green level students can be allowed to take part in certification provided that after being approved they are required to become assistant trainers. And continue the lesson until it is complete. White. The white color symbolizes purity or courage. White level students are expected to have started preparing themselves to become PSHT citizens by maintaining attitudes, behavior, words and actions towards things that are good, white, holy or clean so that later they can be successfully passed as PSHT residents.
Tuh ada di semua, bintangnya apa Kasih buat semua. 